Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you one of my favorite comedians. Put your hands together for William Montgomery, everyone. Here he is, live, in the flesh. Lights out, William Montgomery. Here he is, everyone. I, uh, I smoked a little weed earlier, and right afterwards, I was like, no thanks. What is this, K2 Spice? Where are we, the Philippines? I don't get it. Why are people looking Asian, yet they're talking in a Spanish accent? Uh, if I end up having a daughter, I want her to get involved in beauty pageants. I feel like the best age, age group for that is three to five. That's where you can really sort of put, it, put on the makeup how you like. You can really dress them up how you like. Um, they don't ask if it's Pantene Pro-V you're putting in their hair, uh, even though it's white rain coconut. Those internal clocks can be... A William, is that... You have something else you want to say? I do. I wrote it... Uh... <laughs> have y'all ever seen a nine-year-old cry? That's uh, an impression of my cousin, Richard Whooping Cough, when he told us boys he actually has whooping cough. <laughs> um, and he actually gave my daughter whooping cough, so now she's not in the pageants anymore. She... <laughs> That's a callback. William Montgomery, everybody. Here he is. This is it. <laughs> Big J. I'm that was a weird pause yeah. at the end. <laughs> I thought for a second you realized that you were here performing in your boxers. <laughs> yeah. Really is definitely wearing underwear that has, <laughs> seems to have pockets in it. Underwear with pockets. I got these in just went, Christ. I Am I not wearing pants? Out. It's literally the only thing I wrote down during that set is the word underwear. Uh, I didn't want to forget to acknowledge the fact that you are wearing underwear. We've seen neck braces. We've seen unicorn horns. We've seen a lot of different things from you, but underwear, this is a first. Why are you in your underwear, I William? wear these at the strip club down in Dustin, Florida. Weirdly oh. enough, my name is Unicorn Horns. Uh, down in Destin, I sell a bunch of people Advils. I act like they're... You they're, sell Advils on just the black market? I do. Literally Craigslist. What are your thoughts about Advil being available over the counter? <laughs> it scares me. It gives people kidney problems. I had a, uh, a, a close relative, uh, Pat, Pat, second cousin. She died yeah. of, of complications with her liver due to Advil, so it's... What was she taking Advil for in the first place? She had something wrong with her teeth. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Yeah, there's a thing, I don't know if y'all have ever heard of, this thing called cavities. It's if you don't brush your teeth. Yeah, we've heard of that before for sure. That's a very common thing. She had cavity. I just want to give it up for my, my really good friend, Ralph Martinez in the AdvoCare jersey. Can you raise up your hand, please? Oh, he's giving it. Oh, Ralph wow. Ralph is visiting us right now from the Philippines. Ralph, how are you? Wow, you actually know that guy. You've done this before with a, with a human that you didn't know at all. You told him to stand up and take a bow, and you just kept yelling at him until he did. Uh, but that you, is that true? You're actually Ralph Martinez from the Philippines? I've never heard of a Martinez from the Philippines before. Yeah, ask, from Ralph, the Philippines? ask Ralph how old he is. Ralph, how old are you? 35. Her Wow. Why, why, is, that, why, is that bizarre? Why is that so funny to you, William? Just because we used to work. It's a bit we've been working on. <laughs> I, I understood a lot of people wouldn't get it, but it, Ralph, that was really good. We've literally we've been part. working on that shit for three years. We were uh, in New Mexico for two of those years. We slept in the same bed together. Oh, wow. Did you guys ever uh, snug or anything like that? You snuggle up with one another? Well, I was trying to before I heard him talk in his sleep, and he was talking about my, my relative Pat. About what was he saying? Just get that bitch. 
out of this hotel room. I'm sick of her being here. And I was just like, Ralph Martinez, I get it. We have a really strong connection. But she got here from Memphis, Tennessee. It's a long drive. She's not going to be able to get back. And oh. Oh my Ralph goodness. started poisoning her. Oh, really? Maybe that's how she got the cavities that eventually killed her. Have you ever thought about that? that that's what I think. Hold on, Ralph. How old are you again? 35. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, just, I don't understand. Well, I don't really get it, William. How, let me ask this. How long have you and Ralph been working on this bit? We have been doing this shit, what, 20 years? How 20 old are you years. again, Ralph? Can I tell you something? I bet, I, my guess is, how old are you again, William? I am 42 on a good <laughs> day. A I play a lot of Monopoly. Uh, I didn't want to bring this up again. Uh, yeah. If I am playing Monopoly and someone lands on Ventnor Avenue before I do, I, I get enraged. Yeah, what does that sound like? Just, hold on, Ralph, why the fuck are you playing Ventnor Avenue? You know that's my space. We've been in this hotel room for five months. <laughs> we become really good friends, and you're building a, a house on Vit. <laughs> why, were, why, why were you and Ralph in a hotel for five months together? It is a long story. We met on AOL. We... <laughs> Decided to start talking. He decided to show me the Ouija board. I decided I on enjoyed. AOL. Yeah, he showed you it when we met up. He decided he was like, "Hey, William, play the Ouija board." I was like, "I believe in Jesus Christ." He was like, "I don't care. <laughs> we can speak to spirits on this." And I think that's where we discovered that joke of, "Hey, yeah. hold on, how old are you?" Thirty-five. So, like, you guys, you guys are playing the Ouija board and my guess is that the little piece went over the number three and the number five and then you just you did that bit for 20 years and then I say I caramba you have to stop doing that we're not in Juarez anymore Juarez that's in Mexico not the Philippines where Martinez's are usually from I'll be very honest. It was it was very nice to see you out in the crowd tonight. I I felt lost. I have been really deep on some experimental drugs, hallucinogens. I've been walking the streets, but when I saw you tonight, it sort of gave me some more confidence. I'll be honest. My stomach hurts right now. I don't know if it's because of all the Advil. I don't know if it's because. How of many Advil did you take today? If I'm going to be honest, I would say I don't. Five or six. Why are you taking Advil? I have been having these horrible headaches. I... Okie dokie. Uh, there you go. If you're wondering how long it can last, it's that long. Uh, anything else for William, guys? He's in his underwear. I, uh, I'm impressed. I, I don't <laughs> know... I have no idea what just happened the past exactly. five minutes. Yeah, it's all it's all. I do know that that, that, that guy is 35. It's, a, it's all a chance for us to sit back and remember how great pot in Los Angeles is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there he so, is. Forget your pants good. Also, I'm, I'm horribly <laughs> on edge right now. I worry about my father, Larry Montgomery, watching this episode tonight, texting me in the morning, being like, William... Uh, Mom and I loved it, other than you being far too high. We didn't get get the the joke. Hold on. How old are you again? Oh, my goodness. 35, bitch. <laughs> For those of you just listening, uh, or maybe you can't see on the camera, on that one, the guy actually shook his head no. And he refused <laughs> to answer. 20 years, he finally just re retired the bed. It's over. Live. In the comedy store of all places to work on. Yeah, I mean, I have a lot riding on this. And you, you start now... Fucking with me. You've said that. I was on rescue 911. You were? Yeah, I was an ambulance driver. Uh, <laughs> early 90s, Philippines. I had a lot of cases with arrows, people getting hit in the arm with arrows. Okie dokie. Um, how, about, uh, how about one more time, good and loud for William right, Montgomery, you, everybody? <laughs> I. Uh, I shit my pants the other day. <laughs> Luckily, I was at home last night. However, I wasn't so lucky. I work at a Chili's. I... <laughs> What's the deal with the Twilight Zone? 
See, that scares me. There weren't more laughs. With, that was the punchline. I, uh... Oh, God. Um... Watch it, kid! <laughs> That's my impression of the taxi driver in Home Alone 2. <laughs> What's the deal with Gilligan's Island? I am so sorry. Tony told me if the set doesn't go good tonight, I'm off as the regular. <laughs> I have a lot of pressure on me tonight. I have a lot of pressure on my small toe. Heck yeah. Out there in exactly 60 seconds, William Montgomery. Who told you that I said that? Uh, a good friend, Zane Heichel. He's part Iranian, part Minthian. Uh, really good at mathematics. His brother's really good at English. Where'd you meet this guy? In high school. Oh. And he told you that Tony told him that if you don't do good this week, you're off the show? He did. And I'll be quite frank, I don't get why Zane Heichel told me that. I literally got the news this past week that my buddy Tony Chin was potentially on that 737 Max crash in Africa. So Tony Chin may be dead? I am worried Tony Chin is dead. I had a bunch of stock options with him. <laughs> with him? In the Jeez. Hubba Bubba uh, uh, Hubba gum. Bubba the gum? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's part of the gum industry. <laughs> it's, a, it's a guy, Tony Chin. He's Asian. If we're going to get down to it, he was, he was pretty much a... What was that fucking noise? <laughs> me off! Dude, you dress and talk like a molested boy. (laughs) (laughs) Ten years ago, I was in Atlanta, Georgia. (laughs) There was this manager guy. His name was actually named Tony Chin as well. Weirdly enough, I found myself in a bathroom. He touched my butthole. Oh, my goodness. I didn't know what to do. We've never talked about this before, William. He touched your butthole? Touch my butthole. Why? The stall was out of toilet. I don't know. I was wearing an eye patch at the time. You had an eye patch over your butthole? Over my butthole and over my right eye. Wow. Uh, I had... So what, what, did you do? What, what did you do when he touched your butthole? I looked him in the face, I looked back, and I said, please, I sort of like you, just take it slow. (laughs) Let me have some fun as well. I have hammer toe, I can't really get on the tips of my toes. So what do you? What did you do? You wanted to have some fun as well. What did you? What did you? What did you Don't you? repeat this. But I, I took a slurp out of my Coca Cola icy, and I looked back at him, blinked out of my left, and I was like, "Go to town if you want to. I have to be honest with you. I am in fact HIV positive. <laughs> I have two years to live. Is that true?" Yeah. Who told you this? Zane? Zane did not. Tony, Tony and I also have stock in Kinex. I don't know if y'all remember Kinex. It's a, a Lego offshoot. Um, you talking about me or Tony Chin? I'm actually talking about my second cousin, Patricia. How'd you get here? Oh, this is a new thing we've noticed lately where William sometimes will accuse someone in the audience of being somebody. (laughs) You're saying this is your second cousin, Patricia, right here? This young lady in the very front row? Patricia, how are you? (laughs) I've been watching you since I got on stage. You have not been laughing. It's my final Kill Tony set. I've been having fun. I look down at your face just seeing a big scowl. It really throws... What can you tell us about your cousin Patricia? Is there anything uh, interesting about her? Any fun facts? Do you have any history with her? 
nine years ago in Atlanta, Georgia, we were in a uh, a Connect Four tournament. Uh, she she cheated a little bit. We were in a a single room apartment building, sort of in the ghetto, if you want to call it that. That's what you called it. Just cheating somehow at Connect Four to this day. I don't know how you do that. The guy was like, hold on, what are y'all fucking doing in here? She pulled out a pistol. I pulled up my eye patch, winking, just like, hold on, it's all right. (laughs) William, you just got a little bit lost in the eyes of Luis J. Gomez there. Uh... What do you? What, what happened? What, what happened when you looked directly? Lewis, at his what eyes? throws me off is I was so looking forward to Skankfest. You never gave me the invitation. That's not true at all. That's what just the simply, fuck, Lewis? That, that's just. I can't do math. <laughs> William, 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 you are a fucking liar. Yeah. You are a liar. You do not lie. We gave you an invite, and you cannot get off your Chili's job to come. That's what happened. Wait, you work at Chili's? No, it's a self-storage unit. <laughs> Called Ch- Chili's. Chili's really self-storage unit. Blooming yeah. onions. Uh, it really is. This is Outback a, this is Steakhouse a, this is normally does for, that, but in the storage unit, yeah, we serve funnier. fajitas. You name it, we do it. I have Q-tips on deck. For what? What do you use the Q-tips for? Just warm water on the Q-tips, just putting them in your eardrums. It's a good feeling. I'll be very honest. When I got the two-year period left that I'm going to live, I got a bunch of (laughs) Q-tips. So, William. um, Shane just left. Yeah, Shane's gone. Uh, You really pissed him off, dude. (laughs) Yeah, something about the Q-tips. Two um, nights ago, Shane and I got in a really bad flight. A really bad what? Fight on a Delta flight. Yeah. You name it, we were doing it. Budweiser's, Bud Lights, what? Ecstasy Tablets, LSD. This is what you and Shane Gillis were doing? Yeah, I think that's why he left. How did the night end? It ended with a... With a what? I'm kidding. That's a character I'm working on. Just sort of pause it. It ended with both he and I getting thrown off the plane in Atlanta, Georgia. Me not understanding what's going on. Just wondering where Shane went. I can't hear at that point in time. I have an earache. He is on a row ahead of me. I don't know where my head... Let me ask you something. I'm going to stop you there. Now, you're known for your incredible comedy style of just blatantly lying about absolutely everything. A lot of other people, the truth is comedy and this and that, but you seem to be sort of the exception to that rule. Uh, Sony, I'll be very honest. I've been down recently. Yeah. I've been very down. I'm working at the storage unit place. I've been fooling around with a young lady. It's been fun. I worry about her talking about her ex-boyfriends because I could never fill those shoes literally and figuratively. I have webbed feet. I okay. can't wear All right. Awkward. William. William, do you, do you ever do like anything different outside of what you're comfortable with? Like you have a formula every week. You pretty much, you know, go off on, like, you know, Applebee's or something. And you do that every week. Is there a different version of your set that, like, do you ever do, like, you're like a, a more traditional set? You have jokes that you, you have jokes that you do in a set when stuff matters. I've seen you. Because this is your last performance here at the Kill Tony show. Can I give you all a couple of my best jokes? Yeah. N- yeah, I mean, we've, that, it, we've it, seen yeah. them. We've seen them. So I can get on the show later. I think you all will like these. Oh, no, 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 no that's no, not no, how it no, works. No, I'm kidding, no. I'm kidding. We escorted Jesus, off. what is the deal with people asking for shit tonight? Hey, Gus. I, uh, I like it when my mom goes out of town because I get to sleep on her side of the bed. Classic. <laughs> Classic. Yeah. We love it. It's great. I, uh, 
How about I have a friend who's paralyzed from the waist up, which is a blessing because he's a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> White with black stripes! As the racist zebra. <laughs> well, William, uh, those are amazing. We've seen those classics before. Uh, you did it again. You're working hard. You're getting development spots here at the comedy store. You have a big manager. I hope I haven't been uh, calling in after you have Adam. A, okay, well, yeah, okie dokie. You have a big time manager band. and things are going good for you. I, I heard a little rumor that you might be showcasing for uh, for the Conan show, right? There's a there's Whoa. a guy named Robert Conan who I hang out no, with no, down in no. the sewers. No, you're lying, William. I'm currently living in the sewers, bunch of There mosquitoes. he goes, William Montgomery, everybody. Here he is, William Montgomery, everybody. I'm crazy for fear. Here he is. It's William Montgomery. How's it going, y'all? I work for Speedo Goggles. No, but seriously, I uh, have been snorting a bunch of Catnip recently, don't worry, I have a hold on it. <laughs> I wrote that five years ago. That allowed me to open up for Cat Stevens, the <laughs> guitar player, father and son, will be played during my funeral. Missy Elliott taught me that one day if I could escape from the dungeon in the basement of my father's insurance agency, if I could put my mind to it, I could become a dancer. (laughs) Fantasy football tip. Fantasize you're out there playing tackle football with human boys instead of rotting in the dungeon below your father's You want to finish it? Can I tell my last joke? Yeah, of course you can. He's got one more. I'm a librarian, damn it! (laughs) That's an impression of my dad paddling me in the dungeon when I haven't been using my library voice. Wow. All right. Very unorthodox, as usual, per uh, William Montgomery, everybody. There you go. Another new set from William. There's his classic look for approval to the guest. Uh, I'll be quite frank. I'm just pumped about Rosh Hashanah this year. (laughs) William, take a step back so that the people can see you uh, clearly um, while you're... So the people can see you, William. So having a stare off with Mr. Fumnar wouldn't be the way to... uh... I grew up with a man named Rosh Hashanah. His father was Tony Roshana. Uh, His grandfather was Ralph Roshana. I don't know if I believe any of this. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know if I'm buying it. It just kills me. I, I literally, I'm a believer in Jesus Christ. I'm cool with Jewish folks that also believe in Jesus they're called Messianic Jews. When I was with... There I thought is, last week was your last episode. I thought... I, thought, no, I, I didn't know no, this was not, happening. That wasn't a thing at all. What, what he said last week was that I said that if he doesn't do good that week, that he would be done. But that was a complete lie. And what scares me is I'm just feeling the tension of the audience right now. It's going really <laughs> bad. This literally is probably my last episode. (laughs) I'm going to let y'all in on a secret. I have dreams at night that I remember at times, and there was one with a man named Rosh Hashanah. I was looking at him in an elevator. The elevator sort of moves around a little bit, and we end up sort of collapsing in the elevator, and I look at Rosh and... (laughs) Are there, do you, let me ask you this. Have you hung out with a lot of people named after holidays? I have. I'm really uh, good friends with Peter Easter. He is. <laughs> Peter uh, Easter? He's a really nice black man. He's involved in a gang in Memphis, uh, the Bloods. I was with him three years ago. We uh, went around shooting people. Wait a in second. A target Wait a parking second. Lot. Now, this is a new level that we've never gotten to. Now, your entire comedic style. <laughs> is based heavily on uh, 
on um, the, the truth. truth. And so now we're finding out that you shot people. Peter Target, I remember being in his Ford Taurus, a purple Wait a second. version you just said of a Peter, Ford Taurus, just telling me, William, pull the trigger, don't breathe. I found myself in the passenger seat of that Ford Taurus, passing out, looking up, seeing... Oh my goodness. <laughs> Who's Peter Target? Hold on. Going on, Peter, Mr. Fumnar. Peter Easter. Yeah, Peter that Easter was, is a man that started a church outside of Memphis. He was a believer in snakes. Uh, William, oh, that's Mi- right. Mr. He he starred in the movie Good Friday after Next. I remember. He also started uh, that one movie. What is that called? Where the people are out in the desert. It has Kevin Bacon. Tremors. Tremors. Yeah. Okay. So, how many people did you and Peter shoot that day? I think in the movie Tremors, the amount of people Peter and I watched from the outskirts of it, sort of winking at them, was maybe 35. I just remember being out in the desert sands holding Peter's hand, thinking to myself, I hope this never ends. Hey, Red Band, can you put on MI Paper Planes? Oh, my for- goodness. This is, uh, that's not Paper Planes at all. That's not Paper Planes. All right. Here's Cat Stevens. Just picture me being some sort of a plumber type person in Memphis after this comedy thing doesn't work out. I get bit by a spider. I slowly die in the mat. And this song is playing. Red Band shows up and winks at me. And then what happens? I wink back at him. And, th- and then what? I take off my Speedo goggles. They're fog to the max. And, and then what? I say to Red Band, Red Band, you were so sweet to me. I'm, I'm a simpleton from Memphis moving out to Los Angeles. <laughs> you allow me to put these songs on. And Red Band says, do you believe in Jesus? will still be here tomorrow. Dreams may not. Wow. So, uh, Kyle... And I look at Red Band, and I'm like, Red Band, I pray to God you believe in Jesus. I have a bad feeling you don't. I get that you play the Ouija board. I get that you go to Kroger's supermarket. I get that you raised up my son, Vance. I don't understand it, but I get it. Why did you have to wear that wig? Why did I have to wear those shorts? <laughs> and, 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 and then what happens? No, William, uh, hold on. Let's slow it down for a second. So, Kyle, uh, this is, I believe, probably your first time ever seeing William Montgomery perform. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I've never seen him. I like Kyle, him. Kyle, yep. I am a giant fan. You are wonderful. Oh, thank you. At impressions. Thank you. Can you please sort of answer from your gut right now? Is there any way when you were opening up for audiences, maybe they're in the Philippines, maybe they're in South Korea, could I feature for you? Oh, my God. William, you're not allowed to do that. What did I tell you about that? You're not allowed to just ask people on the show if you can open. I'm from the Philippines! (laughs) I was going to ask My right leg goes numb! (laughs) Your wait, 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 your what? I can't feel it! Your left leg? My right sort of, this muscle up, it goes numb when I'm eating the foot long. It costs 14 bucks. That's why I got the app. All right. That's incredible, William. My goodness. That, have, you let, have you let a doctor look at that at all? Well, last time I was there, Teresa, how are you doing? Teresa's my aunt. Oh, there you go. She said hello. That, it's been confirmed that that is your aunt. I was worried when my brother Vance and I were on those train tracks and you got cut in half that you could not be fixed. Nice to see you. Can you stand up and do your shirt up? Can we see those stitches? <laughs> no, you don't, don't, don't make her show her stitches, William. This has been a pretty common thing the last few weeks. I've noticed that you recognize somebody from the audience as a family member and you ask them to uh, stand up or say hello or something like that. And uh, normally it's just simply never 
the person who you say it is. And it's I a, feel like the only reason I bring it up when I was talking about the movie Tremors, I don't know if y'all remember the scene in that movie where they're up in the water tower, but I was in fact up there. I was messing around with my pistol. I was learning how to shoot it, learning how to pull the trigger, learning how to aim. She came up there with me. She was like, William, how are you doing it? So, so nice to see you. And I just promise, it's so, so nice to see you right now. You have really thrown me off. I'm worried about the text message I'm going to get from my father, Larry, tomorrow. He's going to be like, is that, William, is, you need to write more. Is that the aunt from that side, your father's side? It is. I also have an aunt uh, from my mom's side, uh, my my grandmother, B. Vance. I was her favorite, actually. Okie dokie, drove... William. I'm going to cut you off there. I uh, really don't have the uh, uh, momentum here. Now, you've been um, having uh, sexual relations with a young woman as of late, right? And that's sort of a newer thing for you. Is that correct? Y'all just picture me. Just maybe at a Laser Quest Arena bathroom, just living it up. Maybe my name is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Maybe William. my name did is you hear Predator the, William, over here. Did you hear the question that I just asked you at all? <laughs> like, at all? I have been trying my hardest to, when I feel like I'm about to ejaculate, pulling my <laughs> penis outside of her body and just praying to God she doesn't rub her thighs on my thing because it gets sensitive. I don't understand. Hey, w- yes, you're, you are describing pulling out, William. <laughs> yeah. That is what you are describing. Yeah. I have been having so much fun, but I'm lucky. No, hey, it's okay. You don't, yeah, William. Okay, so you've been hooking up with a lady for the first time in a long time. Uh, Wineshank, you, you see a stud like William. You have any advice for him to uh, maybe... Hey, Wineshank, I'll be very frank. Uh-oh. You and I having that development spot, getting on shows together, there have been points and times I've looked at you just wondering what you asked for. For Rosh Hashanah, there have Okie dokie. Been- ah, <laughs> uh, this is a uh, this is a wacky, wacky William Montgomery appearance. But I will say this is that I did a show on Friday, uh, Tony Hinchcliffe and was Acquaintances, that? and uh, I have to say that out of almost every single comedian on that lineup that night, um, it was mind-boggling how great of a set William Montgomery what are my had. Lines I know that a lot of you, during William, my William, set, it William, was fun. William, William. That's not, you can't just start talking whenever the fuck you want. I mean, I have no idea what's that. Are you okay? Are you, f- like, you're on a live show right now. And I was in the middle of the complimenting past week, you. When I try to go to sleep, if I go to sleep on my back, I have these dreams where I can't breathe. Yeah. And I literally wake up and I'm not breathing. Yeah, William, he was trying to compliment you and you interrupted for a weird riff. Yeah, it's very bizarre. <laughs> he was Getting... building you up and then you're like, no, 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 but yeah. this riff that's not going to yeah. work real right. quick. <laughs> In one of your longest interviews ever where uh, really like there's just hasn't been a butt ton of momentum behind it. It's not exactly, I think, I, I, would, I would say this isn't exactly your crowd. Um, so why'd you come back this week? Well, Brian, uh, you're trying I to like, make up a storyline that was never a storyline. Yep. Cr- Way too much confidence this episode, Red Band. Um, let's just keep that the show forward so present fun. show moving. Fuck! Could that you keep show bringing was it so up. What are you talking we about? Went over that, you keep going back. Well, to I this think it's thing. a good idea. He brought up a good the idea. The show last was week. so it fun, y'all. I'll be quite frank. Probably one of my best lines I had during the show. In between Wait. killer jokes, I said, "Yeah, I'm single." I'm holding out for a black or an oriental. There you go. That was a joke. Look at that. Mr. Fumnar. Yes, Kyle Dunnigan just gave your set two blinks up. You can only use oriental in regards to a rug in 2019. Last day check. Hey, Sarah, I'll be very honest. Oh, there oh. was a point in time before I started hanging out with the school. I had a big crush on Oh, But I'll shit. be quite frank. You saying that right now, it really <laughs> throws me off. I've been <laughs> killing it tonight. All right. You talk about... All right. William Montgomery had uh, fun times. There he goes, everybody. Here he is, live, in the flesh. The one, the only... 
bright red beard. Here he is, William Montgomery. I'd, uh, I'd like to give a brief moment of silence to Millie Vanilli's uh, Rob Anderson. He uh, tragically died on this day, Labor Day. It's a dark time for me. I uh, recently got fired from QVC, something about they were pretty sure I was addicted to heroin and lived in a tree. I'm going to be passing out my DJ cards later. Uh, my DJ name is Rob Anderson's Millie Vanilli Experience colon featuring William Montgomery, comma, he's not that sick, period. <laughs> so I've been having a bunch of cat parties recently. I, I take acid and round up all the neighborhood cats up into my apartment. Um, just looking at them, wondering who they are. Uh, I'd like to give you maybe a little cut scene of that. Uh, are you going to do the... Is there more to that? Oh, hello, sir. Are you a cat? Oh, yes. Oh, dear. That's what you're like at the cat party? Cap party. There he is, the look of approval. He's absorbing Miss Pat's energy, trying to get a read on her. Uh, he I was, always... I'm excited to see Miss Pat. We were in uh, Ashley Simpson's first music video. What was that, 20 years ago? You, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I started to believe that motherfucker. I was like, what? Oh, what? <laughs> It was 20 years ago. We met for the first time. I was like, hey, my name is William. She was like, hey, my name is Miss Pat. And she was like, fuck you. Quit. Wow. <laughs> William Montgomery, we've seen your Jedi mind tricks work on a great many comedians, but uh, I don't think uh, you, you got Miss Pat there. No, he don't. I don't even like gingers. <laughs> <laughs> they burn too easy. I don't fuck with y'all. <laughs> Is that true? Weirdly enough, yeah, two weeks ago I was at a campfire with some buddies and I got a little too close and I... I'm I, talking about the sun. Yeah. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Sunburn. You got sunburn from a campfire? <laughs> I did. It was really bad. I think I have uh, a carcinoma. Wow. How true is this cat party thing? Everyone knows you're a very honest comedian. How many times have you had a cat party before? It has been literally the past two months. It's been five times, normally on Tuesdays. I literally just take some squirts of this acid. I literally go out in the neighborhood, just see the cats, round them up. With how, do you, how do you, hold on, how do you round up the cats? What do you do? Can you give us an example of what that's like? I have a net. It's a... Wait, uh, what? Similar I, to a fishing net. I just trap them in the net. I'm sweating really bad. You ever bust I'm vomiting. A net? I'm I'm tripping on the sidewalk. But I get probably ten to fifteen just Whoa. during the cat parties. That's a lot of cats to catch in a net. Has anybody ever seen you do it? Yeah, my neighbor, a really nice man, uh, Ralph Martinez. What did he what did he, what did Ralph say when he saw you? He was like, William, why do you have all those cats? William, why are your pupils so huge? <laughs> William, why are you sweating? William, where are your clothes? William, where's your net? Why don't you have your net? William, what's in that bag? William, what are those cats? William, what's, go what's going on? And I'm just like, Ralph, relax. W wow. Okay. Come to the party at 8. My goodness. What, what the fuck are you guys eating, cats? What are we eating? Have you ever heard of uh, Easy Cheese? <laughs> How much it's the cheese you squirt out of a bottle. We eat that with Ritz crackers. We you, have uh, hold on, you Captain's would, wafers. We have all you, kinds of crack. You in the crack? Cats. You giving the cats crack? <laughs> That's a black person drug. You giving the cats crack? How much crack have you been giving the cats, William? Two weeks ago, there was this very sweet cat. Um, Stop telling jokes and talk to us, goddamn it. <laughs> <laughs> You can't stop him. Turn your ass around and talk to us, you weird ass ginger. Turn around. <laughs> you I need to start so checking these people's mental health before you bring you, them up here. <laughs> <laughs>
Have you have any of the cats ever misbehaved with you or done anything out of line? Yeah, there's this one, uh, What's Edward name? Francis. He's a really nice guy. He's from Memphis, Tennessee. We went to high school together. Wait, um, you went to high school with a cat? Yes, he was really smart. He had an <laughs> eye patch. Um, really sweet guy. He was Armenian. Um, Wait, it's an Armenian cat. Armenian cat? Yeah. And Wait. I'll be honest, keep that song playing, please. Y'all just remember, just when I die, I currently have hypertension. I currently eat Luden's cough drops too much. But I promise y'all this, during my funeral, as this is playing, Cat Stevens' father and son, I just pray to God that one cat, Edward Francis, just sees me in that coffin and starts crying. <laughs> Wait a second. Why would the Armenian cat that you went to high school with be at your funeral and start crying? Because we got along a lot. We started playing board games. Um, and, 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 and how would he see you at your funeral? He would be, you're planning on having an open casket funeral? How would at he get casket? there? How would he get there? He would get in his Ford tour. <laughs> All right. Anything else exciting Can happening? Can you do that one more time, Red Man? Any... Oh, oh, look at this. Shit, yeah. Wow. <laughs> We've heard rumors of William having sexual relations lately, and I think it's really showing. Look at this. Oh, wow. <laughs> Gowdy. <laughs> Gowdy, hit another step, boy. Go. What'd you just fucking say? <laughs> Wait, whoa. William, what happened? I'm having fun. <laughs> you better get this crazy ass crap. <laughs> <laughs> William, I've never seen you have any rhythm like that before. Is it only to that song? Is it that, is. Is this, like this a, is. is this like Weekend at Bernie's? Only that one song makes you move like that? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, my goodness. I feel like... I feel like with moves like that, you could win a dance Red competition. Redman, keep playing it! Oh, my God. Turn the lights down! William, no. All right. All right. Wait, what was that? What was that move? Okay, play it some more. What was that? All right, all right, all right. Okay. My I was going to dance with you, but I think you crazy. <laughs> Jesus I, Christ, where you get these people from? I didn't learn how to spell in the third grade. So, yeah, there are certain people that say I'm crazy. I... Ended up working at a Kmart for five years. I didn't know how to read the... William, wow. William, are you married? <laughs> no. I'm not, no. <laughs> are Why you is that funny? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> is there a licensed gun owner here I can <laughs> hang out with? <laughs> <laughs> Well, William, you did it again. Another fun new minute, another fun appearance. Uh, Thank you so much. Jesus fun time. The great William Montgomery, everybody. I'm crazy for feeling Here he is. In the flesh, William Montgomery. So I started a website called datemebeforeidie.com. It's for white guys with lupus and black guys with sickle cell anemia. Uh, not a lot of people know this about me, but when I was a junior in high school, I stole my grandmother B. Vance's purple Ford Taurus. I was going 80 miles an hour uh, through a thoroughfare, slammed into a guy, killed him, spent eight years out of a 20-year prison sentence. Uh, got involved in the scared strip. Got involved in the scared straight program. Turned a lot of lives around. Two weeks later, I was in the ladies' footlocker in the mall getting busted by the police. I was stealing ladies' shoes. I have lupus. I also uh, have something called sickle cell anemia. Whoa, we'll never know how that one ended there. Uh, William Montgomery came out guns a-blazing tonight. How you feel, William? I have felt better. I am 
Yeah. Really sluggish right now. I had a long night last night. Yeah, what happened last night? I uh, drank some seltzer water. Keep it going, please. I drank some seltzer uh, waters with alcohol. Uh, Zimas. I was drinking Zimas all night. I was taking Advil all night. I had a really bad headache. Uh, word to the wise, don't mix Zima and Advil. It Why? What, what makes, happened? It makes your stomach bleed. It makes it so when your roommate Angie Hernandez goes in the bathroom and sees blood everywhere and starts banging on your fucking door and you have to explain on the other side of the door, Angie Hernandez, I'm sorry, I was drinking these seltzer waters without... I was taking Advil. My tummy hurts real bad. I... I'm bleeding in here. I need another Ziploc baggie. I filled up two with blood. You just Angie Hernandez, bring me another fucking Ziploc baggie. I swear to God, you've been a nice roommate, but I'm getting tired of it. Wow. You're getting tired. She, she brings you more Ziploc bags. She brings me towels. Towels? Oh, you're, you laughed at that one afterwards. Was that a joke? I just want to bring it up uh, for Angie Hernandez's father in the audience. What's up? Uh, oh. Tony Hernandez, how's your spleen? Oh, why, why, what happened with his spleen? He has something called sickle cell anemia. Wow. He, I get the feeling someone just found out about sickle cell anemia this week, huh? Hey, Tony, love the watch. So, William, uh, what's going on? Uh, what else is going on in life? Tomorrow, I'm going to Vegas for the first time. Really? Wow. What are going your plans to Vegas for, for the uh, first time? What are your plans for Las Vegas? I am going with uh, my girlfriend. I have uh, a couple weeks ago. We had to go to a CVS get the Plan B. Um, you had to get a Plan B from CVS. Yeah, I pretty much hid in the bathroom. My father was texting me, William, if you don't start writing more for the show, they're going to kick you off. Tony's getting sick of your shit. That's what. Did your dad really say that to you? Yeah, exclamation mark, question mark, exclamation. I mean, he makes. Oh, good wait points. a second! He wait a points. second! He just made eye contact with Josh Potter for the first Josh, time. Josh, how's it going? You guys know each other? It's going good, buddy. Yeah, what, two years ago we worked at that hotel? You worked at a hotel together, is that correct, Josh? That's right, man. Wow. How I'm fun like, was that? Oh, the, ble- the best. I look forward to, I don't know. Yeah, I look <laughs> forward to that as well. It was a hell of a time. Tell we us more s- about your times working with Josh Potter at a hotel. It was actually at the La Quinta in Scottsdale. We were selling Xanax bars out of room 217. <laughs> Scott Potter had uh, a, a knife it's in Josh, his... It's Josh Potter, William. Uh, that's what they called me, though, because I was a Xanax <laughs> dealer, you know? Yeah, no, his brother was there. And it there. was in Scottsdale. Yeah, it was so weird. Okay. Um, wow. So, William, where are you, what are you going to do with your girlfriend in Vegas? This is crazy that you're going to Las Vegas. It's crazy Ooh, to me. Vegas! It's crazy to me that you were able to get time off from your job at a self-storage unit, which almost... It was crazy. I told them about the other night I was bleeding out of my bottom. Oh, yeah. All right. We, um, um, my butt is bleeding. <laughs> All right. Okay. Wow. I'm working on bits. My apologies. I have a big show in two weeks. Showtime at the Apollo. You're doing Showtime at the Apollo? I am, yeah. They're giving me a two-hour deal at Showtime at the Apollo. They've been the doing only, that a lot lately. The only sort of uh, thing they said, you have to rub the piece of wood. Uh, good luck, piece of wood. I said, maybe I will, maybe I won't. All right. Wow. I have something called lupus. Okay. I got it from... All right, there he goes. William Montgomery, everybody. A new minute from William. Stop. 